In a matter of eight seconds, the Occidental building was reduced to a pile of rubble. That was November 5th, 1989. Tons of debris littered that area, but within days, Circle Center began to take shape, and the man in charge has been Terry Green. What's this going to be right here? This is the wall that will separate uh, the Parisian from the balance of the, of the mall. I caught up with Green September 20th, 1994. What we're going to be doing is we have some new foundations down there, and we are actually going to jack the building up and move these columns, put new columns in, and let the building come back down on its new structure. Just last year, the inside of the center was cavernous. Bare beams, half-built elevators, no glass, no arts garden. Washington and Illinois was still an open intersection drywall with stacked in neat rows but an area known as Main Street had taken shape. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to basically a solid wall system up there and so those openings that you see that are uh, created by the metal framing uh -huh. actually people will probably be leaning over there with their uh, their beverages and their hors d'oeuvres watching the rest of the activities down here. A nine screen theater will be part of the Circle Center. There will be over 20 restaurants and 90 stores and still under construction were the walkways between stores. Once completed, no one will ever have to brave the elements to get from one store to another. Well, that was just about a year ago. Fast forward to April 18th of this year. We took our second trip to see just how much progress had been made. The biggest change was the arts garden. Girders were in place. The steel shell was up. Inside the center itself, the elevators at the front entrance were a little more completed. Main Street that stretches between Nordstrom's and Parisian was taking on an identity. The atrium in the front center of the mall was beginning to be carved out. And the floor was going in. Flooring made of Eurostone from Germany that features 150 million year old fossils. Todd Ketchum, who headed up a crew of 46 tradesmen, says his men are proud to have worked on this project. You know, they like to think their grandkids will be able to come and walk on it and see it. Now fast forward to this past July. Nordstrom's had a name, and display cases were strewn about. Outside, light fixtures in the shape of vines costing $5,000 were in place. The Warner Brothers store had its marquee and appropriate cartoon characters standing by. FAO Schwartz, the ultimate toy store, still had no sign, but inside, workers were finishing the shop. And the arts garden was nearly finished. Project manager Joe Leone says this glass and steel structure may be his best work. Uh, most unique, beautiful structure I've ever worked on and probably will be so uh, for my entire career. So if you were looking at some of these areas in time-lapse photography, it might look like this. The arts garden went from nothing to a metal frame to literally a work of skyline art. Inside the center, the Main Street area, in just a year's time, went from metal frame to glitz. Elevators began to look like elevators. And stores like Nordstrom's to Parisian to FAO Schwartz went from wallboard and concrete to lights, glamour, and pizzazz. Uh, have deliveries for everybody. We just uh, took some forks and spoons to the walk place and uh, we got poster displays, clothes, we have everything. Every, every store gets something today. Ready or not, here they came. Thousands of people who couldn't wait to see Circle Center. We're open. We did it. We're excited. It's great. It's great. Love it. We're excited to be here. It's great for Indianapolis. Love the revitalized downtown. We think it's fabulous. It it's me amazing. Of the mall of it's long overdue. I'm telling you. Fantastic. And it's wonderful. Fantastic. It's wonderful. Fantastic. Because I love it. I love all it. All these other cities. The Mall of America, it reminds me of this, but this is fantastic because this is at home. Yeah. Right here in Indianapolis. Eighty-five percent of the tenants were ready when the doors opened to the public. The rest will move in later. I think I'll come here a lot, yeah, because I work right on the circle, so it's really uh, convenient and close. Key is going to be to keep my wife away from Nordstrom because she works close too. So. But merchants hope to keep the crowds coming and smell success long after opening day. We were here last night and I just thought he might like it. And I only had one of my three today, so it was easier than bringing all three. <laughs> what does he think of this? Um, he's been pretty good, so I think he kind of likes all the excitement. <laughs>